Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Tony over at Q's. So in this video, I'm going to go over the basic setup and operation of uh, Bristlet VO270 ram mount. This one happens to be on an international chassis and uh, we're going to walk you through the steps on setting it up and show you basic operation. So when you arrive at the site, you want to make sure that your parking brake is on. Then you're going to activate the PTO. Boom up. And then it gets through a place of safety. So you gotta come over to the curb side of the truck. Get the selected level to ground controls. Watch your feet. Don't get them caught on the L-rigger. It says right there. And lower your L-riggers. Make sure that the truck is level. Then hit the back. So now that that's all set, go around to the street side and deploy those outriggers. Watch your toes. Then you can hit the back. What I want to make sure is that there's pressure on them and that the truck is level. So once you have the truck level, it's a set power, it's a lower controls and upper boom. Turn that lever up, and now we can go on to the, the bed and uh, operate the machinery. Before you lift the boom up, there may be a ratchet strap on the boom, so if there is, make sure that this has been removed. And now you're free to lift up the boom. At this point, you'll have power to the um, lower controls. So to select the lower controls, you're going to want to push down on this lever, and then to raise the boom, hit the lower controls down, and power up at the same time. And there you go, you're up and away. To lower the boom down, simultaneously hit the lower control, and then fold, and that'll lower the boom down. You can go slow with it, or you can go fast with it. So when it's the rest of the same uh, levers, you're gonna Press down for lower controls to do rotation, raise the elevator, and um, go up on the lower boom. This is upper boom. So to send uh, power to the bucket, you're going to select upper controls, and you can probably hear it. The upper controls are now hydraulically enabled. Here are your controls right here. So before you climb in the bucket, make sure you have a safety harness like this one that goes you know, down around your waist, between your legs, up over your chest, and you're secured tightly. And you can, clap, you can latch into the bucket safely. This is to prevent you from falling out in case the bucket should tip or you get jarred and you hit something unexpectedly like a branch. It'll keep you safe. Before you begin operation of the bucket, there should be a lanyard on your safety harness and you want to clip the lanyard in right here with the clip. That'll lock you in and to help attach you to the equipment, you know, in case you're in a situation where you're about to fall out of the bucket or you do fall out of the bucket, it'll keep you attached. At the end of the day, when you're ready to go home, you're going to select the ground controls on your lever and take up your outriggers. Side. Down the street side. Take off the PTO, boom, pile of strobes, you're on your way. We realize that some of you are first time wrist lift owners. I wanted to show you the basic operation of this truck and how to unfold it and be on the way with doing some tree work and um, if you have any questions give us a call at the number in the video and if you need a price on a wrist lift reach out to us. Thanks for watching guys.